What's up, my ninjas? It's your boy, Drew. As you know, I am a plant medicine advocate. Things like cannabis, psilocybin, and kratom. But I am also an advocate for anything that helps you live your healthiest, best quality of life. So here are some things that I do every day to help me live my healthiest, best quality of life. Number one, maintaining a healthy diet. As a former fitness and martial arts trainer, one thing that I always advocate to anybody that I work with is that health is a three-pronged approach. Your work output, your rest and recovery, and the fuel you put into your body. Many people have a diet that consists primarily of processed foods, trans fats, sugar, and other things that should not be building blocks of your diet. If you deal with things like pain and inflammation often, changing your diet to a healthier, balanced diet can work wonders without having to take anything. Number two, exercise. Exercise also includes things like stretching exercises, breathing exercises, postural work, yoga, anything physical that helps to maintain your flexibility, your strength, and your overall physical health. You don't have to be an Iron Man. You do have to get off your ass and do something. Go for a walk, jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups, pull-ups, ride bike, swim, whatever you want to fucking do. I don't care what it is. Just find something you like doing and do it as often as you can. If you don't like running, but you like hitting the heavy bag, hit the heavy bag for five minutes. Tomorrow, hit the heavy bag for 10 minutes. Two days from now, hit the heavy bag for 12 minutes. It's not that difficult. If you deal with a lot of nagging injuries, pain, inflammation, a lot of it can be attributed to the fact that you are not mobile enough. If you don't use it, you lose it. Your body says, we do not need to do these movements, therefore, we cannot do these movements anymore. Yes, I know, there are always exceptions to every rule. However, you should not rule by exceptions. If you hurt to move, move more, it'll get easier. Number three, meditation and or prayer, whatever you prefer. As much as everything in life is physical, it is also Mental. This is another area where working on breathing exercises will be very beneficial to you. Learning how to control your breathing, learning how to quiet your mind, learning how to naturally relieve stress and relax yourself, relax your mind, relax your mental state will help you immensely if you do not do any of it currently. Stress is the number one silent killer for a reason. It's not good. Work on not being stressed. Mental stress can oftentimes manifest into physical stress. When you're stressed out in your mind, your body will follow. Find whatever kind of meditation, whatever kind of mantras, whatever kind of prayer, whatever kind of relaxing, downtime, mental relief that you prefer to do and do it every day. And whether you're religious or not, I don't care. I love you all the same. But it wouldn't hurt to sit and dwell on the things that you are thankful for every day. Not only will it help you to appreciate everything that you have instead of dwelling on the things that you don't, it will also help you to have more positive interactions with people throughout your day. Positive interactions with others leads to a happier, more relaxed mental state, which leads to less stress, which leads to your ass feeling better. Next up, rest and recovery. Your overall health and fitness is a three-pronged approach. You cannot make up for a lack of one by overdoing the others. Just as any personal trainer will tell you that you cannot outwork a bad diet, you cannot outwork or outeat a lack of recovery. Another awesome, amazing word for recovery is sleep. Sleep deprivation not only increases cortisol and stress in your body and in your mind, it will wreak havoc in every other aspect of your life. 
not getting proper rest and recovery will lead you to not performing as well as you can physically or mentally, will lead you to making bad or rash decisions regarding your habits such as eating or substances, and it will also lead you to being in a shit fucking mood and being a shit fucking person to everyone that you encounter. So take the time to determine what a proper structured schedule is for you and take your ass to bed. You cannot accomplish anything without having a game plan. So formulate a game plan for your day and stick to it. When should I be waking up? When should I be eating? When should I be hydrating? When should I exercise? When should I stretch, breathe, and meditate? When do I need to go to sleep? How long should I sleep for? And so on. Do you have to be as strict as possible and stick to this game plan to the T every second of every day for the rest of your life? No. The more you do something, the easier it is to keep doing it. The more you sit around going, well, I'm not going to follow a plan anyway, so I might as well not even have one. You've already given up before the game even started. Whether you like it or not, you need structure in your life. And last, but certainly not least, hydration. Dehydration can not only wreak havoc on your body, your organs, and make you feel like shit, it will stress your body out. It will stress your mind out. And what happens when you're stressed? Everything fucking sucks. One thing that I have to constantly remind people who should already know this is that hydration does not mean chugging a gallon of water all at once. In addition to H2O, your body needs electrolytes. Electrolytes can be remembered easily as anything that ends with eum, potassium, sodium, so on. Your body, your organs need electrolytes to function properly. No matter how much water you drink, if you are deficient in electrolytes, you're not fucking doing it right. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to hydration is overhydration. The human body can only handle so much water at once before it becomes detrimental. You should aim to drink no more than one standard bottle of water per hour. If you're lacking on your hydration, chugging a bunch of water to try to catch up is only going to hurt you. One key factor that everybody needs to always take into account is moderation. Too little of a good thing is not a good thing. Too much of a good thing is not a good thing. Find moderation with everything in your life. Do you have to eat like a bunny rabbit at every meal and never eat anything that has processed foods, trans fats, sugar, etc.? No. Moderation. Do I need to be chugging water 24 hours a day in order to stay hydrated? No. Moderation. Should I rely on substances such as kratom, cannabis, psilocybin, and so on to make my body feel better every day? No! Moderation! I support anything that you need to live your healthiest, happiest, best quality of life. It's on you to decide what those things are. Just because a substance makes you feel better does not mean it is magic and it substitutes living an overall healthy lifestyle. If I'm not eating properly, if I'm not exercising properly, if I'm not hydrating properly, if I am not taking care of my overall physical health, that does not mean that I am off the hook for taking care of myself just because I feel better when I take Kratom. Taking substances to help you feel better should be the final finishing touches after you have covered all your other bases of your overall physical and mental health. I do this because I care about you. However, I can't care about you more than you care about you. Diet, exercise, hydration, 
physical, mental health. Take care of yourself, people. It's not that fucking difficult. Have a great fucking day. Take accountability for yourself and live the best quality of life that you can.